Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. It's a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from the Hindu and Indian Express. It's the most important news and editorial of the day that is relevant for both prelims and mains examination perspective will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with the news topic list. Today is 19th of August. The first news that is India envisages for free and open Indo-Pacific. This was a statement that was made by the Ministry of Minister of External Affairs. Second, Supreme Court orders status quo on IOA. We'll see the detail about this as well. Bustard adopts to produce two a clutch. This is with regards to Great Indian Bustard. This is something which would, can be again relevant for a prelims examination. Now the fourth news that is China test air defense system near Indian border. And last is an editorial hard truths about India's labor reform. Apart from the news and editorial discussion, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And before that, if you are new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. So starting the session with the first news that is India envisages for free, open and free Indo Pacific, something relevant for general studies paper 2, that is bilateral regional grouping and agreement involving India and affecting India's interest. So recently, while delivering a lecture, the external affairs minister was delivering a lecture on the topic that is called India's vision on Indo Pacific, and this was made in the Chula Longkor University in Thailand, right? So he specifically made the statement at the university and he said that India envisaged for free, open and inclusive and even for the peaceful Indo-Pacific region. So you can make a mnemonics out of it. It is F-O-I-P, right? So this is what India is looking for, free, open, inclusive and peaceful Indo-Pacific, which should be based uh, rule based order, substantial and sustainable in nature and transparent infrastructure investment should be there. Now the external affairs minister has said that the Quad is the most prominent and pluralistic platform which aims to address the problem of contemporary challenges and even the opportunities in the Indo-Pacific region. And India has been vocal about the part in the Indo-Pacific, seeing the dominance of China in the region. Which is again a quad grouping. China's foreign minister has repeatedly opposed the US led quad grouping. So, quad ki jab se formation hui hai. In quad, there are four important member countries. After which, basically, China has raised its concern that this is something which is not appreciated from Chinese. Now, quad ki agar baat kare, uh, this is quad stand for quadrilateral security dialogue, which comprises of four important nations. I think most of you must be aware of this fact, which include India, the United States, Japan and Australia. So, these four member hai quads, ke, which was set up in 2017 to counter the China aggression's behavior in the Indo-Pacific. The whole Indo-Pacific, which is China's dominance, has been done for quad ki formation. Ki gai, right? Now, the members envisage to focus upon the broad areas, which focus areas are kept for quad ki members. Ke liye, and this includes some of the important points like Maritime, safety and security, humanitarian assistance and disaster relief, cyber security, critical and emerging technologies, and even connecting to education, health, and even the space cooperation. So these are some of the prominent focus area of the Quad Group. Now, call for free Indo-Pacific. Free Indo-Pacific ki baat ki gai hai. This is from all the member countries. Definitely, if all the like-minded countries are there, they have the same motive. So India, United States, several other powers have been talking about to ensure free, open and thriving Indo-Pacific in the backdrop of China's military maneuvering with the rich resource region. The Indo-Pacific region is again a rich resource region. And China claimed nearly all the disputed area of South China Sea through Taiwan, Philippines, Brunei, Malaysia and Vietnam as a part of it. So China ने इन countries के adjacent जितनी भी South China Sea की boundaries लग रही है, उन सारे को अपने area में count करने की बात की है, which is definitely not acceptable by other countries also. Now China has built an artificial island and military installation in the South China Sea as well, which is again a threat 
to the Indo-Pacific. Now, China has also a territorial dispute with Japan in the East China Sea. Now, potential of Indo-Pacific region, if we talk about why it is such a Indo-Pacific concern, we need to do a grouping of formation. So, Indo-Pacific is increasingly seamless space that is home to more than 64% of the global population. So, in terms of global population, the number is 64% which contributes 60% of the total world's GDP. So GDP ki contribution is 60% and agar global populations ki baat kare 64%. Now about half of the global trade happens through the maritime route in the region and over the year the region has been seen as strong and sustained economic spread in the Indo-Pacific region, South China Sea or South Asia ki baat kare, South Asia Gulf region and even for the southern coast of Africa. Right? So these are some of the areas upon which they have potential and strong and sustained economic growth definitely is inevitable in the region. Now the role of ASEAN was also discussed. So speaking on the occasion, the foreign minister has said that the role of association for South Asian nation as again uh, something very important and it should be the center for Indo-Pacific both in literally and substantially. This is what India's stand was. And currently, India and China relationship is going through an extreme difficult phase with its border actually in the line of actually the LAC region in Eastern Ladakh. And the way China has missile test, ki hai, this will again aggravate the matter. We'll see and discuss the missile part in the later part of the video. I will tell you about discussion in the next news. Now, China and Indian troops, Chinese and Indian troops are engaged in a prolonged standoff in the Eastern Ladakh region. And this has continued for a long period of time. Now moving to the other news, Supreme Court orders status quo on IOA, again something relevant with regards to the functioning, relevant for general studies paper 2 in mains, that is structure, organization and function of executive and judiciary. So in an interim relief, the Supreme Court has recently ordered to maintain the status quo. Status quo in Hindi mein kehta hai, yatha sthiti ko maintain rakhna, to maintain the situation, right? Status quo maintain karne ki baat ki gai hai, Delhi High Court ne jo three member appointment committee banai thi, administrator ki, wo ab Indian Olympic Association ki function ko overtake nahi karengi. Aisa kehna Supreme Court ka that, these three member will not take, this will not take in the affairs of the Indian Olympic Association, right? Now, a bench comprising of the Chief Justice of India, Mr. N. V. Ramana, or Skelawe, three judges, C. T. Ravikar, or uh, So they include that the submissions of the Solicitor General of India, uh, which was made on the remark by the Centre and the IOA. So the Solicitor General of India has said that an urgent hearing is needed for the appointment of CEO to the IOA, or is there appointment ki jati hai, to India ki suspension ho sakti hai, jis se India ko FIFA se bhi bahar kiya gaya bhi recently, right? So it says that this can be a threat and AIWF, that is All India Football Federation has recently been suspended by FIFA due to undue influence of the third parties. So, khas karke, agar IOC ki baat kare ya IOA ki baat kare, Indian Olympic Association, so agar kisi bhi third party ki influence aati hai, to us country ko wo cancel kar dete, suspend kar dete. So this can be a threat because yaha pe third uh, members, jo three member committee Delhi High Court ने permission दिए करने के लिए ये वहाँ पे permission नहीं होगी खास करके अगर बात करें IOA की ये इस चीज को नहीं मानेंगे right so this is the reason the solicitor general Tushar Mehta has said that this should not be the move and our status quo has to be maintained if these three member committee is being taken over the IOC तो ऐसा हो सकता है कि इंडिया को भी वापस suspend कर दिया जाए now Indian Olympic Association की अगर बात करें it's a unit of International Olympic Committee and they have their own rules. Unki apni set of rules hai, unki functionings ke liye, they have their own set of rules. And according to them, if any national body like petitions of IOA or a representative body, which is a non-elective body, is treated as a third party by interference, it is subject to cancellation or subject to suspensions. Now the Solicitor General has said that every country is bound by the rules by the international body. And even the Tusar Mehta has said, he is a Solicitor General, he said, that the high court intervention may be not valid for the reason which has gone up to the bench at the latest stage. And Delhi High Court on 16 had orders setting up of a three-member committee to COA 
to manage the affairs of IOA, which will not be continued further because it has a susceptibility and a thread that the suspension can continue with India. Now, this is the entire background. You can check it out. Uh, I've given, if you're reading from the paper, you must get it. So this is like 30th of November, it's all started, right? A petitions filed ki gai thi, Delhi High Court. Mein. After which the 17th High Court have moved the AGM schedule about the Guwahati Delhi and the six member panel was there. Again, on April 22, Delhi High Court has separate general body meeting, which called for Narain Batra. These are these names are not important. Aapko bas ye pata hona chahi, jo current hai. That is for 18th of August, the Supreme Court has stayed Delhi High Court order of forming of COA and maintain their status quo. Right? This is how it is moving. Now, Great Indian Bastard adopts to produce two A clutches. This is something relevant for general studies paper three, that is conservation, environmental pollutions, degradation, and EI. So the perceived belief is that the record observations of laying egg of the Great Indian Bastard have changed in the recent and due to excessive rain in Rajasthan. So this is that uh, great Indian Bustet do ekko basically the clutch kya, right? So this is again something uh, which was never being the opinion of any of the scientist or even the expert of the opinion ki astra ki chiji possible nahi hai. Now this critically endangered bird species has adopted altogether new behavior of clutch of two eggs at that time, and if they were provided with the additional protein in their diet during the monsoon, right? So this can again be a relevant question for the prelims examination specifically. An environmentalist in Rajasthan has held that this is a new record which experts are of the opinion that clutching of a single egg was only possible. For century this was a notion but this was un this was made invalid because recently two eggs was clutches. Now egg situ breeding ki baat ki gai, scientists working on the egg situ breeding that is endangered uh, bird have been discovered in the recently uh, agar national Desert National Park ki baat kare, jo ki Jaisalmer mein located hai, maha pe ye saare chichi execute hui hai. And the female GIB has laid two eggs during the rainy seasons, while the two were observed laying clutch of the two eggs in the earlier 2020 seasons also. Now, Dehradun based Wildlife Institute of India, scientists have noted that six nest and two egg of each has deducted in the DNP, that is the Desert National Park. So, Desert National Park ki locations bhi aapke liye important hai, this is there in the Jaisalmer district, and it's an in situ breeding for uh, Great Indian Bustard, right? And scientists have found that 5 to 10 percent of the female Great Indian Bustard has been detected in the past for laying two eggs. But this is high incidence, but the slight sign of inhabiting or evolving habiting has been seen for the first time. As a pehli baar hua, jab do eggs ki clutch ko dekha gaya. Now something about the Great Indian Bustard, this again can be relevant for the prelims examination. You can see the images of the Great Indian Bustard. This is how this animal look like. It's a state bird of Rajasthan. This is again important one. If you're appearing for RAS or Rajasthan KF exams, keep preparation current. So here these three points are very relevant. And considered to be the most critically endangered species. Uh, this is considered a flagship grassland species representing the health of the grassland and ecology. Again, an important point for the UPSC prelims examination. Now, its population has come to more to Rajasthan and Gujarat and small population is also seen in Maharashtra, Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh. Now, protection status ki agar baat kare, Great Indian Bustard ki, how it is protected. So, the International Union for Conservation of Nature list listed in a critically endangered species and sites ke agar baat kare, appendix 1 mein listed hai. Conservation on migratory statics ke appendix 1 mein. And even for the Wildlife Protection Act, it is listed in the schedule 1. So these type of point is again relevant for your examination precisely. Now moving ahead, that is China test air defense system near India border. Something important for general studies paper 2. That is effect of policies and politics for developed and developing countries. So according to the report, China People Liberation Army has tested new surface-to-air missile. This surface-to-air missile China has tested. This is a missile which is named as HQ-17A, high altitude region in India. Kaspas. And even this was before a promise that was made that India and US military exercise will take place near the line of actual control. Now the reports earlier said that 
US were went to military exercise in Uttarakhand, China next month. It was scheduled, but before that, China has made this attack. Now, China conducted the large scale of military exercise near Taiwan after the US speaker, uh, she has visited to the Iceland nation, after which this was in the retaliation measure that China did. And report claims that the missile hit a plane in China, tested its HQ-17A short-range air surface missile system. Now, HQ-17A, this is a short-range defense missile system, which is basically a part of Xi'an military command with that is 17 HQ defense system and it was inducted during their 2019 parade, national military parade in China. Mein. Uske time is inducted. Now the Global Times has noted that the air defense system has an integrated radar, guidance radar, air defense radar and the command system. And this is what is with the vehicle that can conduct long range detected and missiles which were on a move. Reports claim that the missile is based on the Russian Tor M1, the surface-to-air missile of the air defense system. And HQ has also possibilities that it can have data link with the other Chinese system. So this is an advanced version of short-range air missile system. Now you can ask this HQ-17 ko recently which country has trial basis. Now HQ delayed uh, basically deployed with the Xi'an military command. So this is under the military command of Xi'an provinces responsible for India-China border. And this was again a tension. Both countries have seen uh, uh, exclusions from June 2020. And line of actual control, if we talk about it, here is the start. Hai. And for Indian side, 20 soldiers were dead and four PLA fighters were also dead. However, a report claims that the casualty were among the PLA member much higher. But we do not know the fact because the Media reports and even for the videos were not leaked, basically not officially shared. We do not have anything on to this regard. Now the PLA, which is a Xi'an military command, also revealed that the artillery and multi-rocket system were there in January. For China, the state-run Global Times and only a report here that arsenal including the self-propellant howitzer and the other multiple rocket system launcher was there in the part of it. Right. So this is how China is you now basically trying to hide and make all this process done because the commitment was made that India and China will be part of it but Chinese made the attempt earlier without any prior concern. Now moving to the editorial of the day that is the hard hurdles about India's labor reform something relevant for general studies paper too that is government policies and intervention for the development of various sectors and issues arising from it design and implementations. So under this editorial, there are several important subheads. The first include the country fault lines. Second is socio-economic development impact of reform. More about the report, how the clarity is being provided, the overall story and the widening gap. So the entire editorial focuses upon a theme which is called the India labor reform. Now, India has won or basically India has got its independence on 15th of August 1947. This was 75 years ago. India has already celebrated the Amrit Kaal, that is 75 years of independence. And India has won its independence after long. A remarkable peaceful struggle freedom was led by Mahatma Gandhi. Uh, basically, this movement called for a peaceful struggle and without any kind of disturbance, right? So Gandhi had a vision of country not divided into fragment on basis of religion and communal votes. And he emphasized that the country, sort of India should be a country where rich and poor should have their heads with dignity and they have a rule, there should be a rule where each of them should be pro treated properly and a dignity of life should be provided. Right? This is a background that I'm giving you. Now India's trust for destiny is something called for Poon Swaraj and even the leaders that call for political freedoms, social freedom and the economic freedom was a part of it. So, these three freedoms ki baat ki gayi thi. post-independence, this was something which was inevitable. Now, countries fought line, ki agar baat kare, countries democratic, democracy constitute creates the world largest democracy. India is a world largest democracy. And sadly, 75 years later on, the political liberties, ki agar baat kare, in terms of the freedom and the speech that is being curbed out, 
सोशल इनइक्वालिटीज में कास्ट आर हैव ऑल्सो नॉट अचीव अभी भी जो सोशल इक्वालिटी होनी चाहिए वो नहीं है लोअर कास्ट के लोग के पास अभी भी ग्रेटर डिग्निटी नहीं है दे लैक इट एंड द पुअर प्रजेंटेशन रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द वुमेन इन द वर्क पार्टिसिपेशन इज समथिंग दिस इज अ रियालिटी फॉर इंडिया नाउ कोविड के टाइम में कई ऐसे लोग थे जिन्होंने बिलियंस ऑफ अमाउंट क्रिएट किए अपने वेल्थ में बट कुछ ऐसे इंडियंस थे जिनकी जॉब लॉस हुई एंड इवन दे आर अनेबल टू सस्टेन देयर लाइफ राइट सोशो इकोनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम्स को अगर देखें इंडिया हैज़ अ ग्रेव सोशो इकोनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम विद डिफिकल्टी विद अ वास्ट मेजॉरिटी कुछ प्रॉब्लम में एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज अ बिग फैक्टर और पुअर क्वालिटी ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट में इनसफिशेंट एंड अनसर्टेन इनकम पुअर वर्किंग कंडीशन वेर एवर दे आर एम्प्लॉयड जहाँ पे फैक्ट्रीज हो फार्म्स सर्विस इस्टेब्लिशमेंट ये सारी चीज़ों में अभी भी लोगों को काफ़ी ज़्यादा प्रॉब्लम हो रही है द रिवाइवल इन द एम्प्लॉयमेंट सेक्टर इज नॉट दैट ग्रेट कम्पेयर टू द अदर सेक्टर जैसा मैंने आपको कल डिस्कस किया था कि सेक्टर्स में रिकवरी हो रही है बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट इज नॉट जनरेटेड फैक्ट्रीज अपने हिसाब से फंक्शन सही कर रही है बट जिस लेवल पर एम्प्लॉयमेंट होनी चाहिए वो काफ़ी कम है ना इम्पैक्ट ऑफ रिफॉर्म्स की अगर बात करें जो रिफॉर्म्स हुई गवर्नमेंट ने अलग अलग रिफॉर्म्स किए इट हैज़ इंकरेज द स्टेट गवर्नमेंट टू डू सो ऑल्सो बट कुछ स्टेट्स की अगर बात करें जहाँ से राजस्थान की अगर बात करें दे हैव द दे द फर्स्ट स्टेट राजस्थान वॉज द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू कम अप विद द लेबर लॉस और इसी कंसर्न में एक पर्टिकुलर रिसर्च पेपर रिलीज की गई है बाई वी वी ग्री नेशनल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ लेबर विच इज़ ऑल्सो अ ट्रेनिंग सेंटर फॉर द ई पी एफ ओ ऑफिसर्स तो यहाँ पर यह बताया गया है कि किस तरह से लेबर्स ने लेबर्स की क्या क्या सिचुएशन रही है सो so, लेबर्स की अगर बात करें लेबर्स सब्जेक्ट में पेमेंट ऑफ वेजेस सेफ्टी कंडीशन सोशल सिक्योरिटी टर्म्स ऑफ एम्प्लॉयमेंट और डिस्प्यूट रिजोल्यूशन काफ़ी अहम होता है एंड इट प्रपोज दैट द गवर्नमेंट इज गियरिंग अप टू फॉर शॉर्टली फॉर द कंजर्वेशन ऑफ दिस लॉ इन टू फोर कोड ऑलरेडी फोर लेबर कोड आ चुकी हैं गवर्नमेंट ने इसको फाइनली एग्जीक्यूट भी अभी स्टिल इट्स ऑन अ डिस्प्यूटेड पार्ट बट इट विल बी डेफिनेटली इम्प्लीमेंटेड बिकॉज इट एमलगेट ऑलमोस्ट वन फोर्टीज लॉ दैट वेर Court law and to four labour court. Now about the report, the report has focuses upon the industrial dispute, खास करके dispute उस तरह से यहाँ पे service conditions को लेकर के बात की गई है and the service mode dispute of the union to three hundred peoples. Now the period for which the report was being generated was for two thousand five to two thousand eighteen nineteen. और कुछ इम्पॉर्टेंट स्टेट्स की अगर बात करें जिसने इम्प्लीमेंट किए लेबर लॉज को पूरी तरह से विच इंक्लूड राजस्थान महाराष्ट्र आंध्र प्रदेश तमिलनाडु झारखंड एंड उत्तर प्रदेश ना दिस रिपोर्ट रिमाइंड अबाउट द लेबर्स लॉ दैट ओनली वन फैक्टर अफेक्टिंग द बिजनेस इज द इन्वेस्टमेंट डिसीजन एंड इवन द फॉर्मल अगर एम्प्लॉयमेंट की अगर बात करें दे आर द ग्रांट टू पे रिटर्न कॉन्ट्रैक्ट इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द सोशल सिक्योरिटी बट अगेन दीज पीपल वे आर एग्जेमटेड फ्रॉम दिस and they were actually not provided with the social security benefits but government ne uske baad social security benefits ke liye sare logo ko include kiya then it was possible that yes these people can also be the part of social security now then enterprise should not have an employee and more than 300 people before it provide this benefits now what is clear reading through the report one conclusion is unacceptable अगर बात करें रिफॉर्म्स की या फिर लेबर लॉज की दिस हैज टू बी देयर ऑन इंक्रीजिंग एम्प्लॉयमेंट ऑफ द लार्ज एंटरप्राइजेज एंड द रिपोर्ट सेज दैट द एफर्ट्स नीड टू बी देयर टू रिवील इमिडिएटली एंड देर फॉर इट इज टेलिंग द राजस्थान फॉर द फर्स्ट स्टेट टू इम्प्लीमेंट द रिफॉर्म दैट हैज बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम दीज एटलीस्ट अगर बात करें अगर ऐसी बेनिफिट्स नहीं होती तो राजस्थान को इसकी एविडेंट बेनिफिट्स नहीं थी राइट सो इट इज क्लियर दैट वंस द स्टेट इज इम्प्लीमेंटिंग द रूल्स इट इज बेनिफिटिंग टू द मासिस राइट दीज थिंग्स आर प्रेटी क्लियर Now the overall story की अगर बात करें the share of employment in the plant employing more than 300 people is 51.5 percent to 55.5 percent ये दो साल की comparison दी गई है and even it has increased from 53.5 percent to 56.3 percent from 2017 to 18 so these reform has definitely favour the number of employees that were the part of the employment opportunities. Now there's a widening gap this is a reality that the gap between our economy and what we needs is being increasing fundamental reforms ki zarurat hai they are required and theory of economic growth is essentially required more growth does not automatically produce more income at the bottom so we need to work upon it we need to think that how the sustainability of uh, income should be generated and more and more people can be the part of the workforce and to achieve the fundamental reform it requires a policies that are made 
and the paradigm shift in the employment this is again very big and important factor a uh, driving in employment and the labor policies need to be changed for a better quality of livelihood now and ahead this is the need of the hour and future in future also this will be essentially required to agar aap examination mein likh rahe hain specifically mains ki main baat kar raha hu to aap in zar sare cheezon ko zarur highlight kare now moving to the mcq questions of the day before i proceed just to tell you the answers of your study questions the first question the correct option is b and for second question also the correct option is b today's mcq practice aapko batana hai mission vatsalya ke bare mein it's aim to reduce the infant mortality rate and under this mission national human milk bank and lactation counseling center was established so do check it out for the correct option second is defense equity DAC that is the Defense Acquisition Council आपको बताना है Prime Ministers के Chairman होते हैं यानी it was formed after the group of ministers recommendations on the national security in 2001 post Kargil war I think most of you must be aware of the answer so again check it out for the correct option this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the MCQs if you have any other concern you can let me know I'll be more than happy to assist you for time being I'm signing off thank you so much for watching this video.